what are some of the things you can be doing to not only prevent osteoporosis, but even reverse it? Dr. Clark Hansen is here from the Hansen Clinic of Natural Medicine to tell us more about it. It's good to see you, Dr. Good to see Hansen. You again. Yes, osteoporosis, most people know that's when our bones would start thinning. Start thinning, they get thinning. brittle, and yeah. it's a huge problem. Most women know about it because of Sally Fields today. Right. She's cute and she looks young, but you know, she's worried about osteoporosis. We should be because in the last 30 years, the incidence of osteoporosis has doubled. Twice as many people get osteoporosis now as they did just 30 years ago, just in the United States. Wow. Why is that happening? And you said 80% of those people are women. 80% of women. So 20 million women and about 5 million men have osteoporosis in the United States. Probably more than that have it, but those are the ones that are diagnosed. One and a half million people break a, a fracture of bone every year from osteoporosis. And about 300,000 of those people die within six months. Just complications due to sure, the fracture sure. and just really is hard on your body. You just can't let that happen. What age should we start looking into? You know, okay, Great should question. I check to see where my bones are? Yeah, you should you should look at age 40. 40. You want to make sure you're preventing. And if you have PMS, you're predisposed to osteoporosis. If you have endometriosis, uh, ovarian cysts, those are indications of low progesterone. So one of the things that's missed in conventional medicine is the regard for osteoporosis. Drugs have been designed that look like estrogens, that mimic estrogens, that prevent thinning of the bones only. And they actually prevent the natural remodeling of our bones. Every year, your bones, every bone in your body is remodeled. Mm -hmm. The body will take some bone, some calcium out, and put new calcium in and remakes the bone. So the drugs, like Sally Fields is talking about Boniva and Fosamax, the two most popular ones, right. they prevent re remodeling of our bones. So when you say they help build strong bones, it's not true because what they do is they prevent that remodeling. So you get old bone and you get more bone laid on top of it, and now we have hip fractures. That is the newest thing, and Sally Fields, uh, she's gonna have to start saying now, if you can't sit or stand for, for an hour after taking this drug, and if you get severe chest pain or muscle yeah, pain, yeah, I love all or you're the standing, other mornings. Yeah, yeah, the new one is going to be if you're standing in your kitchen and your thigh bone just snaps in half. Is that what that is? Tell your doctor if you're <laughs> taking these drugs and that happens because that's what's happening with these. They're called bisphosphonates. They are drugs that affect the phosphorus and the calcium, but mostly this remodeling. They prevent that, and so you get extra bone laid on top of brittle old bones, and then they just snap. Yeah. The biggest, strongest bone in your in a woman's body and a man's body just snaps in half. That's so unbelievable. How? What, what's the best way to test to see where you're at? So we've what's got the there's test? there's several different tests. We've got a, a, a slide to show that. Okay. What we look at is um, the bone density through different ways, but. I, we want to look at, I think there's an order of marijuana right. to talk we about. Right, we want to look at these, are, okay, so these NTX, are the tests. NTX, it's a urine test. Rather than doing an x-ray to what we call a DEXA scan to look at the bone density, we look at the urine loss of bone. So um, as you're losing bone, you're losing collagen. So we actually look at collagen in the bone and in the urine to see how much you're losing. And that's something that's actually more active. You can see how it's really happening. Okay. And then we look at progesterone. That's really the key. That actually stimulates bone deposit. So estrogen prevents bone loss, but progesterone actually stimulates bone deposit. Okay. So you got to look at your progesterone. Estriol is the protective good estrogen, so we want to see how much of the healthy protective estrogen you have. Then we want to look at also testosterone. And this is one of the reasons men have less osteoporosis than women, because they've got a lot more testosterone. Women have a little bit too. They need it for preventing bone loss as well as sex drive and it's muscle the integrity. Growth hormone too. Growth hormone really stimulates those chondrocytes, the bone cells that build new bones. And then vitamin D3. A lot of women are hearing about vitamin D3. It, it prevents osteoporosis, prevents heart disease, as well as cancer. Real important. Actually, get that tested and find out how much you have in your body. Yeah. So, what we do in our office is we we actually test these things. We find out what's really the deficiency and then we can supplement those. Okay. And a lot naturally. of women, Naturally. Now I brought some other things up here to look at too. Well, I'm just laughing because milk wasn't on that list. You always think you have to drink right. more milk, which that, is. The, we look at around the world um, where we see the diet, and the diet that has the greatest osteoporosis has the most calcium intake. Mm. The countries where they eat the, they don't eat dairy, and they eat very little meat, they have the lowest incidence of osteoporosis anywhere. So Thailand, they're, they don't eat meat and they don't eat dairy products, and they have no osteoporosis. Hmm. Eskimos eat the most calcium. They get about 2,200 milligrams every day, but they have the highest amount of protein also, about 150 to 250 grams 
Most Americans only get about 100, and that's too much. We should huh. only get about 50 grams of protein. Protein's a real problem. Also, these plants are, are these um, chemicals that are in our plastics. The number one we've talked about before on your right. show, these plastics have endocrine disruptors or estrogen stimulators. They're plastics that actually act like estrogens that then depress the progesterone uh, production in your body. So you have less progesterone. So it all goes back to the natural right. hormone replacement. So uh, check looking at the, the hormones that you just mentioned. Right, exactly. You've got to get those hormones balanced, plus you've got to get the right nutrition. Sure. And so we recommend our, a multivitamin that gives you the right balance of magnesium and calcium along with vitamin K and a mineral called boron, which gets the calcium into the bones. And then this grapeseed extract actually stimulates that collagen. That's what is the matrix of all the bone, collagen. You've got to have enough collagen. And grapeseed extract builds that up, not only in your bones, but in your skin and in your blood vessels. So it helps prevent thinning of the bones, thinning of the skin, um, wrinkling of the skin, strengthens the joints. I'm liking all of that. And, you know, so, and when you've talked about all of these before, as far as the estrogen and the testosterone and all of that, there's so many other things that can help you with physically that, you know, it's right. like, it's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. Go get it checked, see where your levels are, and a lot of things will be improved exactly. that Exactly, help way. prevent cancer as well. Progesterone activates tumor suppressor protein. That's why it's so important. It helps build bones, prevents cancer, and it's way overlooked. I'm so sure. women need to, we need to find out what they are, and that's what this last one if is. The, the, this is progesterone. We use a, a prescription one that you can take under the tongue, it dissolves in the mouth, gets into the bloodstream, that way without being swallowed, and you build up your progesterone level. Gotcha. And of course, vitamin D, you, you need to get that tested and find out what that is. All right, and a lot of people might be watching right now want to get all their levels checked especially if you've just listened to this and you realize I've never even had a check. Do right. you have a special offer? We're going to, everyone who goes to our website and signs up for our newsletter will be automatically entered into a drawing for a free hormone evaluation. Mm -hmm. We'll test the estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, those main hormones. And we'll also, if you sign up and select the osteoporosis information link, then you will be able to get a coupon to get our osteoporosis prevention kit, these three supplements here to help prevent them at a discount. Very so good. And remember, start around health. 40, get those levels yeah. checked, especially for osteoporosis, you said, right. 40 years old. Thanks, Dr. Hanson. Thank a lot you, of good Lisa. information out there. And if you want more, it's very easy. You can go to drhanson.com or call the number you see right there on your screen.